Here is a short video, um, plumbing trade calculation video, dealing with basic math and trade related problems. Our first potential problem is a plumbing apprentice can install 15 clevis hangers per hour. At this rate, how many clevis hangers could three apprentices install in two days if they worked nine hours per day? So we have the 15 clever hangers per hour for one apprentice. 15 times. We have the three apprentices. And we have the two days. And we have the nine hours. So it's the 15 hangers times the three apprentices times the two days times the nine hours, which will give us 810 hangers. So three apprentices over two days and nine hours per day with an average install of 15 clevis hangers per hour per apprentice, we will get 810 hangers installed over that time. Our next problem, a 85 and three quarter countertop is divided into five equal sections. What is the length of each section? Here we go. So again, we have the countertop, 85 and three quarters inches. We want it in five equal sections. We take 85 and three quarter inches and we divide it by five, which gives us 17 and one eighth inches. So each section of that countertop will be 17 and one eighth inches. A length of pipe costs $24.55. We want to know what the cost of 19 and a half lengths of pipe will be. So we only want to get 19 and a half lengths. What would that cost us? So again, a length costs $24.55. And we need 19 and a half lengths. We take the per length rate or price, which is $24.55, and we multiply by the 19 and a half lengths that we need. So 24.55 times 19 and a half, which will equal $478.73. So if we want to buy 19 and a half lengths of pipe, and the average cost of the length of pipe is $24.55, it will going to it's going to cost us $478.73. Now we have the problem of we were shopping and we we're trying to buy our elbows, 90 degree elbows and our tees. We find out that 44 90 degree elbows will cost us $29.45. 18 Tees will cost us $22.66. But for our job, we need 31 90 degree elbows and we need 11 tees at the same price. So we have $29.44, sorry, $29.45 will get us 44 90 degree elbows. $22.66 will get us 18 tees. So first of all, we have to find out what, what will the, be the cost, the unit cost for one elbow. So we take the $29.45, we divide it by 44, and we find out that each elbow will cost us 67 cents. We take the 31 that we need to get, we times it by the unit price of 67 cents, and it gives us a total of $20.77 for those 31 that we need. Again, we have to find the cost of the T. So one T costs, we take the $22.66, we divide it by 18, and we find out that one T costs $1.26. So we need 11, so we times it by 11. So 11 times the $1.26 for one T. And it lets us know that we're going to have to pay 
$13.86 for 11 tees. Our next step is to add it all up to the $20.77 plus the $13.86. So for those 31.90s, those 11 tees, it's going to cost us a grand total of $30, $34.63. Our next problem here that we have to solve, uh, we have to solve the lengths of pipe A and pipe B. Pipe A goes from the wall over to the center of the 45. B is the pipe down the side wall here. It goes from that other 45 of the travel over to the other wall here. <clears throat> so we have to find some numbers on the page here that will help us. So to find A, we take the 87, sorry, the 187 inches across the top, which will cover the A, but obviously go a little bit longer. We subtract the 19 inches, which is where the 90, the A stops, over almost to where the 187 stops as well. We take the other little gap in there, which is eight inches, and we subtract that too. So we take the 187, Subtract 8, subtract 19 to find out that A will be 160 inches. B, B, we need to find how to find B. So we take the overall dimensions down the side here of 247, which is obviously much longer than B. We need then to subtract a couple of numbers off. Again, the 19 inches offset advance it's on this side as well so we have to subtract that as well as the eight inches of gap here along the wall between the pipe so we take the 247 inches subtract eight inches subtract 19 inches and that will give us 220 inches for b a and b are solved Up next is our rolling offset. We have a couple of different views here. We have the front elevation view, we have the right view, and we have the plan view. On the elevated, front elevated view, we notice that the, it lets us know that the overall dimension from wall to wall or floor to ceiling, whichever way you want to look at it, is 137 inches. It's also letting us know from that same spot where the 135 starts up into that first 45 degree elbow, that is 25 inches. So what we're trying to calculate is the actual center to center for the travel and then the missing piece from the second 45 degree elbow from the center to the wall. We're going to use these measurements to help us. The other measurements we're going to help us to find this is on our plan view. Our plan view, we're going to find our rise and our roll. It doesn't matter which way you look at it, rise or roll, but we'll just look at the bottom part here. We've got a measurement from the wall over to the center of the pipe where it first started at 25 inches. We have a, another measurement from that same wall over to the center where the pipe is now at 39 inches. So we're going to need to subtract 25 from 39 to find out what that roll was. On the other side, we have two other measurements from the wall down to the center of the pipe, which is seven inches. And then from the wall down to the other side where the hole was before, or the pipe was before, of 19 inches. So again, we have to subtract these two, so we're taking seven away from 19 to help us find what our rise is. So again, we gotta first find our true offset. Our true offset equals rise square plus roll square, all square root. Our rise we had of 19 minus seven, which gave us a rise of 12 inches. We had a roll of 39 inches minus 25 inches, which gave us an overall final roll of 14 inches. So a rise of 12, roll of 14 inches. 
Now we can do our true offset equals rise squared plus roll squared. Our true offset equals the 12 squared plus the 14 squared, all square rooted. The 12 squared is 144. The 14 squared is 196. We add those together, we get 340. And of course, the last thing we have to do is find the square root of 340. And that answer is 18 and 7 sixteenths inches. So our true offset is 18 and 7 sixteenths inches. <clears throat> Up number two, we can find our advanced. Advance equals true offset when we were talking about a 45 rolling degree offset. So therefore our advance in this case will equal 8 and 17 16 the same as our true offset inches. Last part, we're going to find the missing length that we're looking for. So we'll call it pipe A. We take the overall dimension from the floor to the ceiling of 135 inches. We subtract our 25 that gets us to from the floor to the first 45. And then we subtract our 18 and 7, 16 inches, which was our advanced. And that lets us know that from wall to the center of the 45 for that long piece of pipe there, pipe A was 91 inches, sorry, 91 and 9, 16 inches and to center. 